Hello everybody, my name is Molly and it's good to see you today. Right, um, welcome to Zero Studio. <laughs> right, don't forget to like and to share and to subscribe, okay? Don't forget to like and also don't forget to comment. Make sure you comment, okay? Right, um, what am I going to be talking about today or discussing? Right, there's something that caught my interest um, today and uh, it was in the Guardian newspaper on... Um, well, today, which is the 4th of August, 2020. And we've got ghetto presidents. That's the title. Well, we've got ghetto presidents, music, musicians, risk all to talk on authority rule in Africa. Right, there's a guy from Uganda. And uh, they call him the ghetto president. He's, he's actually an artist as well. So the topic is just, it's just about artists who are now getting involved in politics. And um, the, I'll, I'll talk about the, um, the Ugandan guy. Um, his name is um, Bobby Wine, the ghetto president in Uganda. Remember, in Uganda, we've got this old guy who has been president for years. I'm going to tell you how old the, this guy is old. Okay, basically, he's finished. I don't have issues with old people. I just don't want old people holding on to power for a very long time. We've got people like Bobby Wine. Oh. Bobby Wine. Uh, he's actually an MP. He's, 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 he's an MP. So they call him the ghetto president. And his ambition is to bring dreams and the sounds of the streets to the corridors of power. But power is here, guys. It's in your head. So that's one of the things. So Bobby, uh, Bobby Wine, a popular reggae star, he's a reggae star, and obviously I have, I have said he's an MP, um, will release an album um, next month that will address what he calls the real issues people are facing. Bobby Wine, an MP of Uganda, he's quite young, he's 38 years old. I have said that we need young blood to lead and, and lead as examples in Africa. Look at the Ugandan president as we speak and look at Bobby Wine as we speak in 2020. Look at the difference. The real issues that Bobby Wine, the Ugandan um, MP um, song will include is the real issues, he calls it the real issues people are facing, injustices, corruption, high taxation, and misrule, abuse, and human rights, and di dictatorship. This is what um, Bobby Wine says in his own words during an interview. He, call, he says, rise up, Africa. African musicians as well. He's talking to all Africans. And um, he says that we can't be defeated. The more they oppress us, the stronger we become. No detector in history has ever defeated, defeated the artist and no one will ever defeat the artist. So artist, which in this paper they call um, ghetto president, are now taking lead and it's been happening for years, but this is the first time I actually see somebody in Africa fight so hard to stand, who's a musician. You know, he's already an MP, so he's done with so, um, Bobby Wine is 38 years old, and his real name is Robert Nyakulani Setamu. And he hopes to end Yoweri Museveni's 35-year rule. That's why I'm talking presidents for life and the ones who are actually dead, you know, but they still call themselves presidents. And uh, he wants to, you know, end the rule of Yowari Musavena, who's been ruling for 35 years old, for 35 years. And um, he's the most prominent, but far from only artists in Africa. There's a lot of African artists who are now taking part in, um, in so politics. Wine broke into Bobby Wine, the Ugandan, um, well, next president, 
next president of Uganda is Bobby Wine says that um, well they say he um he, he started he joined politics into and wine broke into formal politics in 2017 when he won a seat in uganda's national assembly he has been since badly assaulted and detained many times there's nothing unusual with that in africa they do that a lot and uh with politics Po political rallies banned in Uganda due to concerns right now they're using COVID-19 so Bobby Wine is the next president of Uganda he's young he's fresh he's packed with energy and we are looking forward to seeing a new Uganda it's time for the old man to go home I don't even think retire you know what's gonna happen the guy is old so Bobby Wine, president of Uganda. Bobby Wine, uh, he's a young politician and young people look um, um, you know, look up to him. So this, these are the people that I was talking about. These are the people that we need in power. These are the people that we need in, in government. These are the people that can lead a country. We don't want old people again. And this guy, Bobby Wine, who's, gonna, who's actually, I just call him the president of Uganda. I put him there. He's put himself, so I agree with him. And, um, right, there have been waves of protest across Africa. Individuals are almost pushed into political role by their followers. Young people turn to musicians as their voice, and musicians are asking themselves, you know, is it enough just to do music? I think this is a good question. If you're this powerful as a musician, use that. To help the people because you know what's happening in the country and then so, um, what we are seeing now is that um, musicians are starting um, to participate in social movements and but actively participate in political processes as well at a very high level for example Bobby Wine the Ugandan president well he's an MP at the moment but then He's definitely going to be the president of Uganda. I mean, with this guy going, because this guy needs to retire. Okay. I have spoken about young, um, fresh blood, young leaders in Africa. And I think this guy, Bobby Wine, is a very good example of the leaders that we want to see in Africa in, from starting from 2020. Um, Bobby Wine has actually launched um, a new political party ahead of the presidential election in 2021. And um, the new party is called the National Unity Platform. So, um, Bobby Wine has been calling for a united opposition against Museveni, a U.S. ally, um, ally on regional security, who has led the East African country since 1986. President for life. This guy needs to go. The 75-year-old. The 75-year-old. Museveni is accused by the opposition of relying on the armed forces to stay in power. Don't they all rely on the soldiers and the police and they pay them peanuts to persecute and kill people? A bit of information on Bobby Wine. His name is Robert Nyakulani Sedamu. And uh, he, that's his real name, but he calls himself Bobby Wine because he's a musician. He sings reggae. A bit of a background on who he is. He was born on the 12th of February, 1982. So guys, we can, you know, there's nothing wrong with having somebody so young. Known by his stage name as Bobby Wine, he is a Ugandan politician, activist, and singer, and actor, and a businessman as well. And um, as of the 11th of July, 2017, he, serves, he served as a member of parliament representing the Nyandondo East, East part of Uganda. And um, he is, well, he, political, he's in, an independent uh, political party, his party, I've just said it to you. And he's married to Barbie and he's got kids as well. And that's all I know about the new president of Uganda, Barbie Wine. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Let's elect young people 
and who actually understand what we're talking about and get rid of the old African leaders.